Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Hello, how are you? Hello, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm doing great. Mm. Okay, Carla? Yes, teacher. Yeah? I'm so tired, but I'm fine. Too much work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this day it's too hot in something. Carla, where are you from? I'm from uh, Santa Ana City. It's, and it's hot in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. um, in this moment, teacher, yes. Normally, and... no, but in this moment, it's too hot. Yes. Yesterday and today, in Santa Tecla, it's so humid, so so hot. You feel terrible. I went uh, on Saturday. I went um, El Pimental. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. And uh, it's, it's because it's, it rained for like 10, 20 minutes. And then, oof. Yeah. Oh, only it's so hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, and did you like Pimental? Yeah, but the sea is, um, I don't know, how do you say, um, revuelto. Mm, for the storm, I guess, I guess, yeah. uh -huh, mixed or, mm -hmm. yeah, good. All right. Anna, Rudy, Sullivan, how was your weekend? Well, Hi, very nice because I I I, I was finished my the the university and I take a rest oh. all weekend. <laughs> yes. So Anna, in this moment you're on vacation from the university. Yes, I am vacation. Hey, that's great. So then you say, I know, no more homework, no more exams. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. It's a relaxing time for me. I imagine. Good. Yes. Okay. So, Lovin and Rudy, how about you? Well, in my case, well, good, good night. Uh, I think uh, I'm a little bit tired because I hand washed my clothes uh, on Saturday and Sunday, and <laughs> I feel tired, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I'm okay. I'm feeling okay. It's a lot of work to hand wash your clothes, Rudy. Yeah. Until I, I buy, uh, I don't know how to say, voy a comprar. I buy. I will buy. I will buy. A washing machine. At the work. Uh, a washing machine. Mm -hmm. uh, soon. 
you know, it's not, if not, you're going to be working a lot. Yeah. A lot, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great that you are here. We're going to start off with a couple of, of questions in the chat. We can see the link. The link allows us to talk about feelings and emotions. That's going to be our first topic, feelings and emotion. Make sure you can open the link. Links open. All right. So we're going to have six minutes. You can choose the different questions to ask your partners. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. David, Laura, you have problems? David, Laura, can you check? Okay. I try, I try. <laughs> Did you share? Did you see? Yes, now we yes. can see. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Who's first? Um, okay, let me choose one question. Okay, does it upset? you when you see homeless people uh, i don't know who is going to answer what question yeah does mm. it does it upset you when you see homeless people have, uh, have the meaning of homeless eh, como vagabundo, llamémoslo así. Have the meaning of upset. Eh, molestarte con.
a teacher. Hey, Sullivan, what happened with your partner? I don't know. He can speak right now. I don't know what happened with him. Okay. Then I'm going to change you to another group and we leave your partner here. Okay, perfect. Okay. No Thank you. You're welcome. So. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hey, hello. Good evening, Byron. So, it was an interesting question. Good. Were there any questions you didn't understand or any questions that were not clear? I, well, not the question, but a word. Okay. Uh, it's annoying. I, I know a kind of the meaning of annoying, but I'm not sure. Okay. Annoying is something that bothers you or something that makes you angry. This is the idea of annoying. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or words? Okay, perfect then. So today we understand we're going to begin unit four. Here in unit four, Byron, can you please read what are we going to learn? Yes, no problem. Listen, objective. Uh, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and guess, gestures. 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 Okay. Correct. So we already started to talk a little bit about feelings. Angry, upset, annoying, happy. These are some of the feelings. Now we're going to look at gestures. Gestures are the physical things that you do, right? So feelings, the emotions. The gestures, the hand or the fingers, the things that you do with your body. Let's learn some new vocabulary for talking about these. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Okay. Let's make sure that first we understand those expressions. It's okay. He's biting his nails. What, what do you think? No. What do you asking when it's okay? If biting the nails, you understand the expression. Yes, yeah, yes. Yes, okay. Rolling his eyes? Yeah. Yes, okay. Scratching his head? Mm, that's, it's difficult to me. Scratching means like rascar. Correct. So is this okay. picture here in the bottom? He is okay. scratching his head. 
Mm -hmm. Good. Tapping his foot. Yes. Okay. Twirling his hair. What is twirling? Letter A is the idea that people take the hair and they twirl their hair. They make like a little circle. Oh, okay, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. And wrinkling his nose. It's okay? No, wrinkling, what is? Is letter B, when the person take the nose, like the old man, mm, they wrinkle. When something doesn't smell good, mm, they wrinkle their nose. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Good. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Okay, first, do you understand all of those adjectives? Yes. 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 Okay, good. <clears throat> So let's take a moment and let's talk about you. We're not going to do this one yet, but we're going to talk about you. We're going to use those vocabularies and describe your gestures. As an example, what do you do when you feel annoyed? Hi. What do you do when you feel uh, bored, frustrated, impatient? Okay, so we have annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. We're going to discuss with their partners. So as an example, when I'm annoyed, um, I try to calm down because if I know that I'm going to get angry very soon. So for me, I try to leave the situation or go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That is the idea. It's okay? Okay. Right? Okay. It's in the chat. Um, I see, I think Rudy wrote it in the chat. And it's also here, it's the one from the video, that one. You, those are the things. What do you do when you feel like that? So let's take just a few moments with our partners, okay? And then discuss, what do you do? So, Yapa Byron. Person. Harrison, do you have some problems? Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs. As they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. 
Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, Perhaps it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Okay. Any questions? At this moment, no. No? Okay. So now let's take a look. We're having some ideas of using the body language. Here, we're going to discuss what is typical. Okay. So, for example, in El Salvador, what do people do? What are some typical gestures or expressions that people have with their body? I think when someone asks for an object or a place and the people say signals the place with his mouth. Ah, uh, it's very Salvadorian, right? The people yes. ask, where is the where is the store? And they go and they go with their mouths. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Anything else? Yes, and also they move the the eyes. For example, for this for this same situation. Yes, for example, when they try to, uh, for example, explain where is a place, uh, they try to move the eyes to this place. Okay. Yes. It's true. They try to move their eyes. Very common. Mm -hmm. uh, what about when you want to pay in the restaurant? What is the gesture? Hand, uh, right the hand. Only raise the hand and the person know you're going to pay. No, when you ask uh, for the for the list, the menu, the, the yes, raise the hands. Okay, raise the hand, the menu. But what is to pay? It's like signing a paper. Correct. Yes, yeah. like. In El Salvador, we use this, right? This is the signing. Yes, the yeah. it's very common. Yes. <laughs> and the person, they look and they, okay, okay. And they bring you the check. Very yes, common. they wait and understand very uh -huh. well that expression. <laughs> yeah. In, in, in reality, all Salvadorians understand this. Ah, okay. What about money? What is the symbol we use for money? What do we use for huh? Mm, I'm not sure. No. Yes, this, but I, I don't, I don't know how to, how do you say this? Ah, okay. okay. Oh, for yes. example, the other is when you try to uh, put your hands in your other hands and try to, uh, I don't know, yes, like that, yes. And this is for what, Byron? For money, for example, to get money. Ah, okay. This is for very common in, in the US, right? When they want to say a lot of money. Uh -huh, they, yes. They go like this, right? Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, we are not rich. So we only go the small amount. Uh-huh. Only the ripio, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Only the little bit, only a little bit. Very good. So you can see every culture has different gestures. Some are common, some are not so common, depend the culture. Here we're going to learn a little bit more about a conversation. Let's listen from somebody from India, okay? Here is India and then the gestures. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Hmm. First, any questions, any vocabulary you don't understand? No, I think I'm okay. Uh-huh. What is side to side? De lado a lado. Ah, okay. So it's not up and down, right? Up and down a little bit different. So side to side, like you see in the movie, Hello, how I, and then they are moving their set, their head from side to side. A little bit different, right? Okay, so now we're okay. going to practice the conversation with our partners here. I'm going to put into the WhatsApp group in case you need the picture or you need the conversation. One time, Ron, 
one time, Emily. What is the objective? The objective is not to read. The objective is to imitate the conversation. No is not correct. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No. We want to focus and we want to push. We want to try to do more by going the same fluency, the same pronunciation. So listen one more time so you can have the same fluency and pronunciation. Models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. It's okay the pronunciation and all of the words? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So then what are we going to do? With our partner, we're going to practice and then we're going to present, okay? So we're going to make small partners. Let's make some new groups. One moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, what are we going to do in group? You're going to practice the conversation two times. Okay. One time you're going to be Ron and one time you're going to be Emily. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm trying to see because sometimes we have Peter. So I want to make sure that we have groups of three. I think most of them we can have groups of three. So that way you can have Ron, Peter, Emily, and then you change. Okay. Probably nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his hands from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, so okay. let's switch the roles. Uh, okay, I will be Peter this time. Okay. Laura, do you want to be Emily or Ron? But there is no, There is one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side. When you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. 
No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Who's Peter? Me. Me. I told okay. people for India something move their health from side to side when they agree with you. From side to side when 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 you talk maybe, to him. When maybe you know it like this. Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. Mm, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, that's the it means. Okay, thank you. Applause, applause. Okay. And now? So maybe... now we, we, we can change it. Oh, yeah. we can we can uh, come back to the okay. Bye. Okay, are we ready? What did you ask? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Rudy and your partner. Who were your partners, Rudy? Um, where uh, Laura and me. Okay. Viral. Okay, so let's listen to the conversation. Go ahead, present. Okay. Okay. So Byron, Laura, uh, which uh, person do you want to be? Uh, if you want, I can be uh, Ron. I don't have problem. I'm gonna be Emily. Okay, I'm gonna be Peter. Okay. Uh, have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seemed really nice, but there is one thing I noticed. Notice he moved his head from side to side when you told to him. You know, like this? Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he does he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, very nice. Good job. Very fluent. Good pronunciation. Good job, the team. All right, Sullivan, who was your partners? It was Carla and Anna. Okay, let's listen. Okay, we're going to make the same thing, girls, okay? Yeah, you are okay. wrong, Anna, Emily, and me, Peter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he's, he's really nice, but there's there one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this? Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. Mm, no, I don't think so. Emily. Um, uh -huh. Or mm. it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their hair from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's the, uh, it's me. Okay, so, so guys, pretty good. A little bit of confusion, I think, between who was supposed to go next or not. Very mm -hmm. nice. Good. Remember, the country is India. India, but good job, more or less. There we have it. Excellent. All right, Herson, who was your team? Yes, Harrison. Harrison. Yeah. 
Tell us, who was your okay. team? Patrick? Harrison, can you speak? Yes. 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 Harrison, I think your internet or the connection is bad. It's difficult to understand you. Don't worry, Harrison. Okay. Jancy, who was your partner, Jancy? Hello. Uh, I think it was uh, Christian, David, and Suyap. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Who is wrong? Uh, uh, may I go okay. first? Okay. okay. Emily? Have you met Raj, the student from India? Okay. I am Emily. No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there is one thing that I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talked, when you talked to him. You know, like this. Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it's cool mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, pretty good. A little bit more intonation, but very nice. Good job all in all. Okay, guys, any questions for the conversation? No. No? Okay, great. So here, what are we going to talk? Okay, let's take a moment and let's have. Uh, Carla, can you read the objective? By the end of this class, participants will learn to use models and adverbs to talk about meaning. Okay, so we're going to review what are adverbs and what are models so that it's clear for us to understand how to describe them. Let's take a moment and see a little bit and review what they are. Let's look. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb Definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Okay, so first let's take a look at the important part. Here we have the words might, may, and could, and they all have a slightly different meaning. They are from possibility. That means a little possibility is might and may, and a bigger possibility is could, and then must, okay? So small possibility, bigger. 
The same with adverbs. Maybe is, I don't know. Perhaps, mm, not sure. Possibly, mm, probably, percentage, and then definitely is yes. These are the words that we tend to use. Now, why it's important? Always we use the base form with these different things. And here, always we use the third person. That means we use with S. Always we're gonna think about it like he, she, or it. Now, what's the important? Here, the location, maybe, and perhaps at the beginning is not correct. I maybe go to the beach is maybe I will go to the beach. Perhaps I will go to the beach, but possibly, probably, and definitely is after the person. Example, I probably will go to the beach. I definitely will go to the beach. I possibly will go to the beach. This is after the person. It's okay? Okay. Okay, good. So now we're going to take a moment and discuss different situations, okay? So what are you going to do for your next vacation? Next vacation is in August. It's like in six weeks. What are your plans? What do you expect? Example, oh, I might, I might stay in El Salvador or I mm, possibly I will go to uh, Roatan with my family, whatever. If you stay in El Salvador, what are you going to do? What do you plan? So we're going to talk about possibilities for your next vacation. What do you want or what do you have planned? It's okay. 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 Good. Any questions? Any verbs? I don't think so. Okay. Let's try with our partners then. What are your plans? What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to go with? Remember, the idea is details. Always with details. One more example. I might go to La Costa del Sol with my family because we like to go there since there are no rocks like in Sunsal or Punta Roca. Another thing is in, in Costa del Sol, they also have a lot of delicious food. My, the idea with details, talk about your plans. Review of lesson four. What did we learn today? Frustrated, impatient. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's threatening his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back. 
listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Two sentences using adverbs. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me, what did you learn about your partner? What are your partner's plans, possibilities, and things that they want to do? Uh, can I start? Yeah, Rudy, go ahead. In my case, my partners were Sullivan and, and Yancy. Uh, so Sullivan 
told us uh, first that he would like to rest and spend time with his family. And I don't remember, is Suleiman, if you say that with your pets, I don't know if you say that or I'm um, imagining it, <laughs> but he say that. And from Yancy, I didn't hear uh, because- uh, Me? <laughs> the, the, the I think it was Anna, Trudy, oh, sorry. Oh, Anna, not Yancy, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I was in another group. <laughs> sorry, so, Yancy, sorry. The, no the, problem. The room, uh, we moved to the almost done when Anna were talking about. Okay, all right. Um, so Rudy, you didn't listen to Anna. Not at all. Okay, Anna, tell us what do you plan then? Uh, teacher, my in my house is raining a lot of, and I lose the internet. Oh, and okay. I lose uh, the energy <laughs> and I lose the connection. <laughs> Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, no problem. Solomon, what about Rudy? What did uh, Rudy tell you? <clears throat> he, he said he's going to, he's planning to go outside or, uh, or go outside our, our country and going to maybe Costa Rica to take this, the, the, the vacation in that place. But he is still looking for the ticket for the, for the trip. Right now he doesn't have it, but he had planned it right there. So oh. also he said he's going to uh, to the beach and things like yeah. He, he's going to the beach with his family and in and pass time with with them. Okay. All right. Very nice. Great. Okay. Um Laura. No, I, sorry, we was uh the other one that you said was Anna. Anna, right? Mm -hmm. Anna. Yeah. But Anna has problem with the thing. So yeah, see, he, she said she's going to take her, her vacation on August uh, with her family, but the the rooms take out, so we couldn't hit the complete the the idea. Who she said, but this is the main idea: take okay. vacation on August. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, uh, Byron. What about your partner? My partner was Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, she she wants going to the beach and spend time with her friends uh, to the next vacations. We are in the same company. We are partners in this company. <laughs> yes, but to be honest, we don't have vacations. Sometimes they provide us three days, for example, or two days uh, on this week. But uh, yes. She told me that maybe she wants going to the beach. This is the principal plan for the next vacation of Laura. Okay. And do you know what beach? And to be honest, they doesn't mention the. She did not mention the place. Okay. Sorry. Right. Laura, what about Byron? What did he say? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, Byron said that uh, he hopes uh, get vacation because uh, for our job uh, we don't have it. we don't have vacation but he wants yeah but he wants to spend the time with his family and he mentioned me that uh, the his family likes his family like uh, this uh, um, the different town uh, but but he said that this kind of trip is a little bit boring for him. But I think that's that's the, all that he mentioned me. Okay, yes. but do you mean like like towns that they visit? Like I don't know, Huayuba, uh, and Ataco. Uh, yes, Ruta de las Flores, something like that. To be honest, I don't like these trips. How I say to Laura. Uh, but my family wants to uh, wants to go into this place because she loves the food for the towns for the old towns and knows the culture that they have in these towns but to me to be honest uh, I don't like it I don't like these places <laughs> okay all right no problem 
Suyapa, what about your partner? Hello, teacher. My Hello. partner is was Jancy, and she said in the next vacation, uh, she will go to the Republic of Dominicana with uh, friends and I think family too. And also, it's the first time she fly in the airport. Yes. It's good. Two places. The, uh, yeah. the DR, Dominican Republic, and flying a plane. Nice adventure. It's good adventure. Yes, nice. <laughs> and Yancy, what about Suyapa? Yeah, teacher. Well, Suyapa, her next vacation, uh, probably it's going to be visit um, his family, her family, sorry, her family in, in San Miguel. Um, and she's going to she, um, be in San Miguel, probably. She's going to, to visit the Cuckoo Beach and have a good time with her family. Okay, very nice. Well, guys, thank you so much. I know that for some of you have some internet problems because of the rain, but I hope you have a nice night and we continue tomorrow with more speaking and a few more grammar activities, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you guys okay. for connecting. I appreciate thank you. it. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.